Is there a buzzing sound occurring for you every time you remove your hands from your strings and it goes away and your guitar becomes quiet when you put your hand back on the strings? Well, then you have one of the most common issues and that is ground issues. Now, on every guitar, the bridge needs to be grounded just like all the other electronics and the way it's done is usually there is a black wire somewhere that is somehow being attached to the bridge. Now, on a sorry. <laughs> now, on a strat, you have the claw right here, and if you look really closely, right there, there is a tiny black little wire, and that goes through a hole in the back here somewhere. You'll have to look close like this, and you find the hole, and it goes in to the electronics here somewhere. It will be grounded off to the back of one of the pots. A pot is one of these potentiometers these small little things like this and they're just variable resistors you can move and on the back here this flat surface is where the ground wires are going to be connected and there's going to be a ground wire from each pickup and there's going to be a ground wire connecting all the pots together and a ground wire from the bridge and a ground wire from the output jack this right here a output jack looks like this and in the middle here, you have a connection that will connect to the shaft here of your cable. That is the ground wire. And so you just need to find the right leg to attach a wire. If we take our multimeter and we put it into continuity mode, which is symbolized with the little speaker sound thing, you can see it right there, we get a sound whenever the tips touch. And we can see that things work that way and are connected because we can hear a sound if they're connected. So if we put this on the inside of the input jack and we touch, for example, the switch, we get a sound because the ground connection is complete. And the same thing if we touch the bridge. If you don't get a sound, that means that the bridge is not connected. Now, some guitarists likes to have their plate on the back here, and then you have to remove it and see if the wire is connected. If it's connected to this side, it means you have to take off the pick card and look at the connection of the wire there. Because sometimes you move your pot and it's a little bit loose, you don't notice it maybe, but it's just moving a little bit, cause tension, and then the wire gets strained and pulled and loses its grip and falls off and is just loose inside your guitar. Now I've taken off the pickguard just to show you how the electronics inside here looks a little bit and talk about the ground wires inside but before you do that on screwing and showing the output jack and seeing if maybe the ground wire there is loose is the first thing you should do. Check if there is two wires going to your jack and if there are only one then uh, you have a, to resolder the cable that is there. Most likely take the entire wire out and replace it with a longer wire. Okay, so you will have three wires that are just loose like this. And two of them are ground wires, one for the jack and one for your bridge. And then you will have a lead wire that is for your jack. Now on the back here, you'll have one ground wire from each pickup. And they will all be soldered most commonly to the back of the volume pot right here. Now, here is where this gets a little bit tricky, and I'm sorry for it, but because they haven't used black wires for everything. This wire here is a ground wire that goes to this pot here, just connecting them together. And this is a ground wire too that connects the pots together. Here is a ground wire as well that connects to the back of the switch. It's a little bit hard to see because you have also two blue wires coming from the switch that goes to each of the pot and one from the switch that goes to the volume pot. But ignore these three wires on top right here and focus only on this wire here. Now, this plate of silver tape is also grounding. So if you take your multimeter and you touch, for example, the back of a pot and the back of the switch, you should get a signal. And if you touch the tape, you should also get a signal. So again, real quickly, just because 
everyone knows about the two wires coming off the pickup. Here is a ground wire connecting this spot, and then there's a ground wire connecting this spot. And then there's also a ground wire con connecting back to the switch. And that's how everything is grounded together. Just one cable connecting everything. You don't need a cable from the switch that goes to every pot, and then one that goes over, because then you can get a rack ground loop. So just one cable from each, connecting everything together. You can, in some guitars, you can see a cable that is bare, and it just lies on top of all, and it's sort of them together. That works fine as well. Oh, yes. That's the end of the video. I hope it helped. The guitar is all good, and yeah. Hopefully your guitar is good too. And if you have any issues and you need some help with something being weird, uh, talk to me in the comments below. I know I didn't go over every kind of guitar, but when it comes to these sort of issues, like things buzzing when you're touching them or not touching them rather, it's usually the ground to the bridge and it just looks a little bit different, but it's usually the same thing. So just take a look inside, see if you can see something that looks off. If you liked the video and if it helped you, very much appreciate if you subscribed if you're not already subscribed and that you liked the video if it was of use for you. Until next time, stay awesome and cool and go and fix your guitar so you can rock out and just become the world's greatest, most amazing guitarist. And when you're on stage playing in for a hundred thousand people so you can promote my channel. Anyway, uh, stay awesome and cool now. Bye-bye.